You know what I hate about working the night shift? No. What? Well, uh, it's dark. <laughs> yeah, I'll say. Hey, Yates. Huh? Find anything? No. Can't seem to find my badge anywhere. Good. Yeah. I think I might have dropped it in this guy. Well, when I lose something, what I do is uh, visualize a map of the city, and I break that map down into quadrants. And uh, what I do is mentally go through the streets that I've uh, driven in my cruiser. Yeah. I'll uh, look for the item or items. Come on, come on, come on, people. Move along. Haven't you ever seen a dead body lying in the street before? No. Well, uh, it is kind of exciting. Okay, then. Ten minutes and then you go home? Hey, cut that out. Huh. No good's gonna come of that. Oh, so Boy, it's gonna be a long night. I hope so. I could use the overtime. I'll say. Marcel. I am in Paris. I am new to this country. Could someone please tell me where the men's room is? Yeah, I think uh, if you go out and to the right. No, no, it's to the left. If you go out Ah, the fooled you. I'm not really Marcel from Paris. I am Lyle Jordan, your accent teacher for the next six weeks. And that was just a taste of the many accents you'll be learning in the classes to come, where you'll find the accent is on the accent. Okay. Let's take a look at the German accent. What do we need to attain a perfect German accent? Phlegm in the larynx. And how do we get this phlegm in the larynx? Milk, preferably homogenized. Okay, now we have our phlegm in the larynx. We're ready to move to the next step. Is anyone here German? It is common knowledge that the Germans are a very cold people. It's true, every single one of them! I haven't met one German who wasn't cold or unfriendly. Okay, now we have that as our attitude, we have our phlegm in our larynx, we are now ready to attempt the accent. I will need quiet. I said quiet! Fritz! Is that your dog, Fritz? Fritz, don't you have a license for that dog, Fritz? Fritz, you cold and friendly bastard, Zing Heil! Thank you. Okay, let's move on to the Scottish accent. Now, I think you'll find the Scottish accent is the complete opposite of the German accent in that phlegm in the larynx will hinder you. Okay, so we gotta clear away the phlegm. Ah. Remember, while attempting the Scottish accent, water is your friend. <laughs> is anyone here Scottish? Well, besides being notoriously cheap, your average Scottish person is drunk 18 to 19 hours a day and screw every single one of them. I haven't met a Scottish person who didn't have liquor on his breath while weaseling out of a chick. Okay. So we got our attitude, the phlegm is all gone, I of course need quiet. Scooty? 
Your brother lies in a wee bit of trouble. <laughs> Scotty, put down that book. Scotty, wake up, you cheap, drunken bastard. <laughs> I'm sure at this point you have many questions. Yes. Yeah, uh, I was fooling around with a, a Cockney accent at home and I was just wondering if I was doing it right. <laughs> well, you probably weren't. <laughs> but this is a good opportunity for me to see where you're at. So, uh, please, let us hear your uh, Cockney accent. <clears throat> Mistake number one. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> Hello, mate. Me and the lads were watching the telly the other night and we saw this bloke with this smashing bird and we thought, oh, cool, blimey, he's a lucky duck, isn't he? Yeah. <laughs> you like that? <laughs> was, was that not any good? Oh, I thought it was smashing love. <laughs> so you thought it was good? Yeah. I guess he was pretty good. For a Mr. Wrong guy! <laughs> but if you won't work in commercials or dinner theater, I think you'll listen to me. So what's it gonna be? Do I continue with the class, or do we listen to this bloke? Tell him when he's still on the telly. Uh, you, sir. Okay. Okay, all right. Okay, let's go to the French accent. Okay. It's important to realize that every Frenchman is impotent. <laughs> we need our water. <laughs> we need our milk. Now repeat after your name. My name, My name is Monsieur. Is Monsieur. I am from. I am from. Paris. Paris. My name. I am from. Hello. Oh, you must be friends of Larry's. Don't stand out in the weather. Come on in. Come on, kids. Be careful on the rug. We're having problems with it. It's not much, really. Just a house. Come on. Well, we all know why we're here. It's time to make... Potato salad. Potato salad. First, I take the eggs. Then I add some mayonnaise. Sugar to taste. A little won't kill you. Then I stir it all up. Oh, I love my kitchen. Especially in the day. Well, back to work. Potatoes. You know, I've made potato salad a thousand times, and I've still got a lot to learn. Well, back to work. Mix, mix, stir, stir. Him, him, her, her. How is Larry anyway? Oh, his marks. What to do, what to do. Radishes and chives. <laughs> mix, mix, stir, stir. I'm married young, it's all a blur. I can still fit to my wedding dress, though. See? Still fits? Not a lot of gals can say that. Well, no rest for the wicked. Ta-da! Take the potato salad with you. Don't mention it. Well, it's always nice to meet friends of Larry's, and if you see him, tell him not to feel sorry about his dad. And to call. It won't kill him to pick up a phone. <laughs> well, we've had an excellent week overall, and I'd, I'd just like to i just like to congratulate Danny Husk here on bringing in Feldman Oil as new clients. Congratulations, oh, yeah. Danny. Good work. You know, that'll be bringing in about $14 million to the company coffers, and I just, I just couldn't be more, more proud of you, Danny. But I am a little concerned about the, the drop in billable hours over the last few weeks. I... But get out! Sir, please. I didn't do anything. You sprayed me with seltzer, Husk. No, out! I, no, I didn't, sir. I brought in the Feldman account. Yesterday's news, Husk. Now out of here! But, sir, I, I really didn't do anything. Well, the seltzer bottle's in front of you, Husk. Well, it wasn't me. It was... It was who, Husk? 
Never mind, you don't want to know. Who is it, Husk? You don't want to know. Yes, I do, Husk. Believe me, I do. you don't yes, want to know. Yes, I do, Husk. In no, fact, I do. In pure point of fact, I do. Yes, I do want to know, Husk. I think we all want to know. Fairbanks, don't you want to know? Douglas, I'm sure you'd like to know. Bingo, I'm certain, is curious. So, Husk, who the hell was it? Who the hell do you think it was? It was Bingo. Don't blame the clown, Husk. Oh, it's easy to point the finger at the clown. Oh, yes, the clown threw the pie. The clown hit the midget with the board. The clown let Jumbo onto the tracks. Well, I'm sick of you scapegoating the clown, Husk. Get out, Husk. Get out of here, you clown hater. Go on. I'm sick of looking at you. Take your biggest trees and leave this company. Come on, come on, come on. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. You asked for it, Husk. You asked for it. You deserve worse. Out you go. Get out. Oh, boy, I just, I just can't stay angry when I look at that face. <laughs> oh, look, a balloon dog. What's really weird about the whole thing is that it started off so normal. You know, just a bunch of garden variety faggots out for a drink <laughs> at their favorite gay bar daddies. You see, my friend Roland had just finished writing his coming out novel that was not cliche. So we were celebrating. Well, I have to admit we were all a little bit blitzed when it happened. My friend Blair was making one word jokes through a marijuana fog and I was cruising criminals. You know, last call. <laughs> then, all of a sudden, this drag queen jumps up and starts waving an Uzi around. She looks like a cross between Diana Ross and Conan. <laughs> Roland yells out, get down, everybody. Miss Ross has a gun. Then, the drag queen starts talking. All right. Listen up, fag, she says. This is the beginning of the drag revolution. So I go, excuse me, aren't you a bit fat to be Diana Ross? <laughs> Mistake number one. A large hairnet was thrown over my head, and I passed out. I woke up in the back seat of a limousine. Dirty Diana was there beside me. Make one wrong move, sweetie, and I'll turn your dick into pate, she croaked. Can I at least gulp? I gulped. She smacked me. Then she turned to her driver, an old fag dressed like Jessica Tandy, and said, Home, oh, Miss Daisy. Through the smoky glass of the limousine, I could see the drag queens taking over the city. I saw a tiny Korean couple fighting for their dignity as Alinda Evangelista and Christy Turlington forced blonde wigs on their heads. I saw a little boy, no older than nine years old, being forced to dance in ill-fitting pumps as an ancient share with a goiter fired endless rounds of ammo at his feet. As the little boy cried, mascara ran down his cheeks. I've seen things tonight that nobody should have to see. People talk about Nom Pen. Don't make me laugh. We finally pulled up to this big mansion. Diana shoved me out of the car and walked me up towards the door. At the door, she paused. Work it, she said. <laughs> then she shoved me inside. My blood froze as I saw the horror that lay within. A party was in progress, and every man that I'd ever known was there in drag. There was my old friend Bob, the trapper, singing the man that got away on a bar stool by the piano. <laughs> the good Reverend Hall going, sister, girl, la la. <laughs> My friend Roland and Blair dressed as Madonna and Sandra and French kissing each other. And my dad dressed as my mom. Scotty said, fill my new tits. They're better than mom's. Scott S, aren't you coming into the party? I have to do bull Barbara Streisand on you. It's going to take hours. No!
Listen, I've been thinking. Do you think we'll ever use that stuff we uh, learned in high school? What stuff was that? <laughs> okay, you're clean. But if you find a badge, turn it in. Okay? Get the hell out of here. Scoot! Hey, Sarge, I think we might have some. Don't get drunk and leave town. Who's this? Ah, uh, he's helping out with the investigation. So we're gonna eat or what? <laughs> wow, he's good. I'll say. <laughs> so this is what they think uh, the killer might look like. Oh, yeah. And that's, I guess, what he'd look like uh, with sideburns. Yeah, huh? Oh, this is what they think he'll look like with a beard. All right. And that's what I guess he looked like uh, if he gained a lot of weight and kind of panicked and got a perm. <laughs> Yo. So we can eat or what? Huh? You know, eat? We can eat, huh? Eat, eat, huh? Manja? You know what I'm talking about? Okay. Well, yeah, I just yeah, want to yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Get this guy some rum, huh? <laughs> Something strange about that guy. What do you think? He's got an eating disorder? Yeah. Well, you know, we all deal with stress differently. Like, also. Uh, Sims. Wait, Mr. Connors. The fuck the <laughs> How was your weekend? <laughs> yeah. How was yours? None of your business. Now get to work. Sure. <laughs> Guys, how's it going? Hey, okay. Are you, are you all right? You oh, all right? sure. Sure. Look, is it my imagination or is Connors getting worse? Yeah. No, I think he is getting worse. <laughs> I was doing his laundry this weekend and I lost one of his socks. Yeah. He broke my collarbone. Oh, God. I hear you, brother. Last week, I'm doing a double shift, right? Yeah. After I'm done, I gotta go to his place and lick his dog's belly clean. Ah. <laughs> yeah, I've done that. Yeah, me yeah. too. And I wasn't hired to do that. That's exactly it. Yeah. Guys, I think we better get to work. What? Oh, come, come on. Come on, how can you work? We saw what he did, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, no job's perfect, I guess. Yeah, but you gotta expect a certain bare minimum yeah, still, of... Still, excuse me. What's with all the talking? You talk again, I shave your bodies. <laughs> Isn't there something you want to say? Huh? Four McLaughners is great. He puts food on my plate. He holds all the power, but I get 11.41 an hour. Okay. I get to work. Man, when I look at him and I think about how I have to go down to the river tonight and wash his stinking hair, it really makes me start to hate this job. I didn't know you had to do that. Oh, yeah. Condition it, set it, the whole thing. No, I wasn't hired to do that. <laughs> and I am so sick of buffing his warts. Oh. <laughs> Why can't he chew his own food? Yeah. <laughs> Gee, you make it sound so horrible. It, it is kind of horrible. Think about it. Maybe. Sims, I've got a pimple on my back. No. Yeah, it's got your name on it. No. Can't you hear it, Sims? Listen. No. It's saying, squeeze me. Yeah, yeah come on. Squeeze my job. me. No. 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 Squeeze me. No. 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 And that's how he became the Phantom of the Warehouse. Wow. And on Monday mornings, they say you can still hear him. You got that straw?
Yeah, do you want me to clean your ears now? That's what I want. It's a classic, partner. I'd like to be there to see the look on his gruff face when he gets it in the mail. <laughs> hey, can I see your gun for a second? No, sir. Well, if you haven't seen a gun before, it is kind of exciting. Okay, ten minutes. Very cool! Hey, cut that out! What did we just tell you? No, I'm a different kid! Hey, you little snot rag! Come on, let's get that John Doe out of here. He's caused enough trouble tonight. All right, back her up. <laughs> Listen, uh, I've been meaning to tell you something. Oh, what? Like your life didn't turn out the way you'd hoped? I know that I liked your shirt, but oh. now that you mention it, I... Guess my life didn't turn out the way I hoped. Well, how did you know? Hey, I'm a cop. Yeah. You were too. <laughs>